Yabba Dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar once again coming out here with another vlog. On today's vlog it's looking a bit overcast, not sure if it's going to rain or not so we, uh, we're just going to go for a bit of a ride, probably going to go down to the uh, Las Cabanas beach or Las Cabanas beach, uh, have a bit of a swim up there, maybe, maybe take a zip line, we're not sure, we'll see what it's like when we get there. Um, last time I went there, they wouldn't let me go Superman. Don't know why. The guy after me went Superman, but they wouldn't let me go. So we're not sure how that's going to work out. So without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo. <laughs> There's a McDonald's that's been built on this um, part of the road. And I guess there's going to be some more stores and other establishments being built here. Yeah, so this is, I think they're calling this Vanilla Beach. Vanilla Beach, yeah. So this is a new complex there. Constructing. Looks like it's still got a few months to go. No, they stores. Stores. Yeah. stores. Like the mall in Boracay. So, yeah, massive. All the way from up there, all the way down there. Stores left and right, all the way down, down to the beach, I guess. I wonder who's building this. Vanilla Beach El Nido. That's all it's got here. Info at vanillabeach.com.ph. Oh, oh. And it's still continuing. I mean, once they build this up, I mean, this could take the tourists away from the actual main beach down in the Coron town. It's still going. Boys are hard at work. Cold drinks, takeaway food available here. So there's a little restaurant already open. We're getting closer to the beach. Hello. already serving food and there's this big white here. Yeah. This place is obviously going to be some sort of uh, restaurant. I saw this uh, a few years ago when, they were, when we were here, the initial, uh, initial construction and now it's almost complete. They had a fence up the front here that you could sort of just see something was going on, but I used to know they're building like this massive, massive construction. This goes down almost three, three, four hundred metres to the main road. So it's going to be similar to the D Mall in Boraka. So here we are. That bar's gone over there. 
there was a bar right there on that corner and as you can see it's gone so they've got these beautiful uh, villas um, units that are literally hanging over the uh, over the cliff here and this is what I mean these sort of things I struggle to find these things on TripAdvisor Trivago, Booking.com they're either not listed whether you need to know them personally and you maybe go to their website but these sort of places are hard to find there's another place up there one two three story up there Merim, what's that Merimeg Beach Merimeg Meg Beach these are just some bars oh, the sun's not out but there's still a few people here um, that's the zip line over there. You catch the zip line from that left side, it takes you all the way down to that island just up there. And if you like, you can get one on the way back. So, as you can see, the sun's not out, it's overcast, but a nice beach. No one's swimming. One little kid over there on a boogie board. Either people are scared of the water or it's too cold. I'm not sure, but let's try and find a place where we can uh, sit down, have a drink, and uh, relax. Okay, so we're just walking up a little bit further down this beach. Some nice accommodation right here on the beachfront. <laughs> Where? Up there. I've got a couple of restaurants here. And the zip line is just uh, to the left of that sign. You can see it up there. So the guys are going to come ripping down there all the way down to that island across the water here but it's not, it's not a sunny day it's not bright it's overcast a bit of a haze floating around so it's I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out or how the pictures are going to look we haven't had much luck here in El Nido for the last five days it's been overcast every day it's been extremely windy um, I only had one chance to take the drone out when we were in the speedboat, but I'm just not uh, just not keen to take it out in these bunker boats because they don't have anywhere really to hide the, the drone, even though I've got my waterproof, well not waterproof, it's just the front cover. If anything gets in the back of it, then you could, I could risk damaging the drone, so... I don't want to do that. I paid a lot of money for it and I don't want to destroy my drone. There you can see that I'm finishing the place with the zip line. People coming up over the top, all the way across there. It's a nice ride, we did it last time. We're thinking about doing it either later on today or maybe tomorrow, so we'll see how we go with the weather. Alright guys, so we have decided to park ourselves at this place here, the Matamegmeg Beach Bar and Cafe. Looks really nice, they've got a nice bar behind us here. They've got a limited food menu, but they've always got some special going on for the day, for the lunch or for the dinner. They also are part of the hotels you can see up on the hill here. So, if I'd have known about this place, or those rooms, I probably would have booked here. Uh, not really happy with the lagoon. Um, overpriced. Um, the tours they organise are not really that good. The internet doesn't exist. For a place that expensive, I expect lightning fast internet, but 
We're struggling to we're struggling to get one megabyte of download speed, and that's that's disappointing. This place looks really nice. I'm hoping the meals are going to be just as good. So, the drinks are on the way. We're going to have a nice drink. I'm going to have one of the draft beers. Apparently, the first ones ever made here in El Nido. So I'll let you know how that goes. And the wife ordered. Yeah, you got it. Mango shake. Just going to take you up here to have a look at this place. Why didn't I find this place on Booking.com? This place is amazing. Look at these places up here. Just overlook the pool and overlook this sort of view. I mean, the trees are the trees are in the way on my level here, but those but these units are actually looking through the tops of those coconut trees and out into the ocean. It's like they've got a little deck area over there where you can obviously order some food. Um, and this restaurant is part of this, uh, this establishment. Just amazing. Nice pool. Massive pool. It's like probably a good 25, 30 metres long. One of the biggest pools I've seen here in uh, El Nido. Wow, so this one's there, Metameg Meg Beach, um, I'll have to look this one up and put the, um, put the details down in the comments, or just put it down below, I'll put the details down below. Toilet area here, this place is really nice, but as you saw when we arrived here there's a massive, massive building going on. There's a massive building going up over the other side of the main road there and there's lots of construction happening here so this is gaining popularity for the tourists who just want to sit back, lay back, relax. If they don't want to be there in the hustle and bustle of the, the main beach then you come to this beach, it's really nice. They even got a nice little swinging area here if you want to just chill back, have a drink in the swings. Nice. Alright guys, so we've ordered our meals, they've arrived, we're just waiting on the jumbo prawn. There's my pork barbecue. There's the uh, spring rolls, vegetable spring rolls. And when the wife moves her hands, I'll show you the spicy gumbas. Prawns in a spicy sort of uh, sauce. And here it is. Rapido. And a massive, these are like jumbo, super jumbo prawns. I've never seen them this big. Massive. Ordering another drink, Jack. And seems to be another fight friendly bar. A lot of places here in the Philippines will allow you to vape in their restaurant. Well done guys. Okay so for dessert we've just grabbed the uh, banana spring rolls. Well, I've taken a bite out of it already. Let me take a bite. <laughs> Not bad, but I don't think it's got anything on the ones that we had at the two seasons in Coron. The ones in Coron were probably twice as big. All right, guys, so I'm back in the hotel. I'm just standing out here looking at the weather. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I'm gonna go down to the uh, to the beach down here and see if I can uh, fly the old drone. See, so see if I can get some nice footage from the actual uh, main beach. Um, it was raining before but it looks like it's cleared up a bit. So I'm going to head down there quickly and see what I can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Alright guys, so I'm down here near the uh, near the bay, near the inlet of the Um Let's fly the drone. head on back now. I'll come around to the side here again where I was the other day around the back. Um, little bar here, little uh, sort of like a cottage. What's this place called over here? I forget. The High Chaparra. The High Chaparra. The High Chaparral. The yeah, High Chaparral cottages. The cemetery is just there. And I flew down there. I just wanted to see what the uh, El Nest looked like from the from above. Actually, I might take you on a bit of a ride with me as I head back along this uh, corner road. I'll take you as far as I can before I hit the sand. Otherwise, it's a bit hard driving a motorbike with one hand on the sand. So let's go for a drive. There is a path here, this is the right hand side, that's the left hand side for the oncoming traffic. I think it still needs some uh, some work done. I can't imagine the people going to these uh, resorts where I just came from behind me at night because there doesn't seem to be any lighting here. I can't imagine how spooky it must be walking past that terrace at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm near the end of the path now. Hairy as I come down along here. A couple of restaurants just on the end here, and then you hit the beach. So I'm going to put the camera away and I'll drop in to see my mate Bernie. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Back in the hotel room. It is just after 6 p.m. Starting to get a bit muggy. Um, I think it might rain tonight, I'm not sure. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. We have a private speedboat tour booked. 
we're going to do some uh, private island hopping. So, hope you can join us on that. But just waiting for the wife to get ready, and we're going to go back down there, see if we can find another place to eat something. I just discovered if you go down the main road, and instead of turning left, going to the art cafe, if you turn right, Jesus, someone sounds like they're throttling some dog. Um, yeah, if you turn right instead of left down at the main road, there's numerous restaurants, numerous restaurants, takeaway stores and that. So we're going to go check that out and see if we can find a, uh, a new place to possibly recommend to you guys. Or if we get a bad meal, a bad recommendation and a stay away order. So... Let's go and do that while I sit here for a few minutes while the wife gets ready and uh, do some people watching. Okay guys, so we've come back to this uh, scene on-site seafront restaurant we came to a few days ago. We're going to give it another go. They made some good food last time so we'll come back again. Um, let's see if they can live up to their reputation or if we get burned. Uh, we'll keep you posted. So, yeah, three dogs roaming around here in this restaurant. Oh no, there's another one here, there's four. Uncle Jack time. Jack Daniels. Cheap, 200 peso. Jack Daniels and Coke. Some places will charge you up to 300, 350, 400, even 450 pesos for a Jack and Daniels like back at our Hotel de Lagoon. Crazy. Nice mango shake there. It's hard to find a nice mango shake. Um, most of these places tend to just blend up with raw mango. And if the mango is not sweet and juicy, the mango shake won't be sweet and juicy. So in some places, hide the fact that uh, mix some sort of milk or condensed milk with it and add some syrup or some sugar to make it sweet. But there's not, nothing beats a fresh mango that's sweet and tasty, sweet and juicy. Alright guys, so the meals have arrived. We've got 30 clams over here. Sizzling, not sizzling, just a, uh, what's that, grilled squid? What's that, grilled squid? Adobo. Adobo squid. Some rice, some rice, and a Hawaiian pizza. I just want to show you something. That's what it looks like on the picture. And it says there, Hawaiian. Doesn't look nothing like it. But anyway, let's dig in. Oh well, guys, so we have had another dinner at the scene on site seafront. Scene on site seafront restaurant. They call it the SOS. Um, another nice meal, can't put nothing wrong on these guys, they make really nice food and at a really good price. So if you're down here in El Nido, come and check them out. The two restaurants side by side, that's the one I'm talking about just there. They've got the seafood selection there where you can select your fish, squid or whatever type of seafood you like and they will cook it up for you the way you like it. So um, that's it for our little excursion down the beach. The waves are crashing up on the shore. The other night they were coming up a bit higher, but tonight, I don't know, maybe the high tide's still coming up. So let's, um, let's mosey on down the beach. I'll end this shortly quickly right now the wife's trying to take photos of me so i'll catch you on the other side uh, let's just record as we're walking down here 
as you can see the restaurants are all full doing a roaring trade here The wave, the wave. It was coming up to the walls there the other night. Must not be high tide yet. You can see the restaurant just there. That's where the waves were coming up right to the edge there. So where the guy was, uh, oh. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Bit of trickery there from the locals. Cooking some fish right there on the grill. Smoking the place out. That's the burger place we ate at last night. Really nice burgers there. This is a big tour um, booking hub. Unfortunately, when we went to book like the speedboat tour, that was unavailable, it was all booked out. We went to tour, book the tour Z, that was unavailable because the boat was uh, in for repairs. We went to book the ATV adventure, they don't do that anymore, so we walked away. Uh, where's the wife gone? Oh, it looks like I've lost the wife. Oh no, there she is. Looking at some uh, knickknacks, some jewellery. Lots of this stuff here that you find is all sort of like local handmade stuff. This place here looks uh, promising. Big complex here. Three story complex. I never saw that on TripAdvisor or Booking.com. Like most of the uh, hotels that we're walking past, I can't see them on Booking.com or on TripAdvisor or on Trivago or any of the other um, travel destination booking uh, websites. So you really need to be here or have someone who's been here and can recommend a place to stay. Um, we tend to just try and find some place on the internet and when you get there the pictures look all nice but when you actually get there things just aren't the same. But like I said I'm not a travel vlogger, <clears throat> I'm just sharing our holiday and if there's anything in the videos that can help you out then so be it. Got some nice fresh fruit shakes there. Some more souvenir places. I think this uh, this place here has like a restaurant up on the second floor, on the third floor, and even on the fourth floor up there. So I don't know how you're gonna go if you if you get drunk and you gotta come walking down four flights of stairs. Good luck to you on that one. All right, uh, time to find our bike. Where's our bike? Uh, no, back here. Yeah, that's the one there. And have a look how these guys just come in. Like, they haven't left me any room. And I'm such a champion parker. I'll get that out in a heartbeat. Alright guys, we'll see you back at the hotel. Okay guys, we're back at our room. Um, what did we do today? Yeah, we went down to Las Cabanas Beach. Uh, we were, had some lunch at the uh, Meg Meg Beach Bar and Cafe. Uh, it was really nice. I recommend you go down there. They serve some really nice food. They've got some nice variety. Um, so something for everyone. Um, now to... Oh yeah, I went down and flew the drone. Hope that worked out alright. <coughs> um, 
went and had some dinner now at the Scenic. Oh, I don't know, I forgot the SOS. You saw it previously. Um, I'll leave a link down, or I'll leave the information down in the info section. And that's about it. We're back at the hotel now. We're just gonna relax. I'm gonna have a shower and get ready for tomorrow. We have booked a private speedboat tour. This time we're going to go where we want to go. So hopefully that's going to be a really nice day. Hopefully the weather shows itself. Um, we've had some bad weather over the last couple of days. It's just been really overcast. Um, hasn't been too hot. Uh, 26 and 27 degrees Celsius. So it hasn't been too bad. Just overcast. Sun barely makes a, an appearance. And... When you're trying to take some drone videos, it doesn't look good when there's no sun out. Um, so that's about it. Uh, so yeah, join us tomorrow on our speedboat tour. Uh, it's a private boat tour, so like I said, we're gonna, we've are gonna we chosen the destinations. And we're going to go and spend as much time as we want at each destination. So I hope you can join us on that. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed... Click that subscribe button just there. If you already are subscribed, make sure you click that bell notification. That way you are notified each time I upload a new video. So until we meet again, boys and girls, peace out.